Hello there, Leos. Thank you so much for stopping by for your monthly in-depth tarot reading. We are going to break the month down into four segments of time so that you have better ideas about the major themes as we go through the month because obviously, you know, things change over one month. To have, you know, just a little information for all month is, well, it's kind of ridiculous, I think. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to look at August 1st through the 8th to start with. If you guys would like to scroll past my shuffling and putting down of the cards, that is perfectly fine. So far, I've left this in these videos because some people do like to witness that, although I have to say I am thinking about taking them out just because it's time consuming and these videos are turning out to be long enough without extra time consumption. Okay, we have your cards down. Let's see what's coming up for you, Leos. The first thing that we're looking at is your environment. An environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. Usually it's home, but it can be other places as well. And so what I'm seeing is that, uh, wow, we've got a couple of contradictory cards. I'm just looking at how they go together. I am seeing that there's been something frustrating about your environment that has come to an end. And I think that you have been looking for ways that you can feel fulfilled and satisfied in the environment. And you've come up with that. No thanks to <laughs> other people. For some of you, these other people are going to be within the environment. And for others of you, they're going to be outside the environment that you were trying to get help with to you know, to make the environment something that you would feel more satisfied with. Uh, so uh, getting somebody's help and trying to make the environment a, one, a more satisfying one for yourself and trying to end some frustration might have been kind of like pulling teeth or might be like pulling teeth August 1st through the 8th. But I do think that you actually get it done because we do see this end of frustration and this fulfillment card coming up. I just think in the beginning... Um, it may be a little bit rough. I am picking up for a lot of you, not for all of you, but for a lot of you. This is specifically about maintenance issues in the environment that you're trying to get taken care of. And, you know, the, whoever it is that you're working with on this um, is not... Uh, it's not handling it as quickly as you would like, let's say that. But anyway, by the time we get to the end of the 8th, the, the frustration has dissipated and you're feeling satisfied with what's gone on in there. Okay? La -da 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 -da. Next thing we're going to look at has to do with your subconscious leanings, Leos. Subconscious leanings for August 1st through 8th. It looks like there's some kind of situation going on where you haven't been able to reach a goal. And that goal is one that not only takes your energy and effort, but also input and encouragement and effort from other people as well. And the goal seems to have come off track. And in your subconscious mind, you're trying to understand, did this actually, excuse me, did this project actually come off track because, you know, somebody self-sabotage it or sabotage it or did it come off track because somebody just didn't know what they were doing and if we improve their knowledge level will this work more you know so I think you're in your subconscious mind you're really trying to figure out why this project isn't moving forward is it because somebody's sabotaging or is it because there's something that needs to be tweaked or improved about the project okay Next thing that we're going to look at for you, Leos, is going to be communication style during this time frame, or learning style, I should say. We'll do communication style after that, but we're going to start with learning style. There's a lot of emotion around the things that you want to find out about or that you're researching or dig information that you're digging for um, during this time frame, and I do feel like you are digging for some of that information. You're having to work to get some of that information out. 
so information that you're having to work for and that there's a lot of emotion around is what we have for your learning style. It's taking some effort to find this information. Um, as far as your communication style, there is a lot of emotion coming up in your communication style. And I think that you're expressing about things that you're not happy with, that you can see where they need to be and should be improved. Um, there's also uh, a certain amount of communication that you're expressing your confusion around why hasn't this been improved already or what can we do to improve this situation. Uh, but I think also you are talking to people who um, are quite able to help you to figure out which way to go in this situation to bring about what you actually need. So there is some communication going there. To somebody who is able to guide or direct, this may be a mentor or a lawyer or an accountant or a psychic, um, you know, any of those could fall into that category. All right. If it's a psychic, pick me. <laughs> All right. Next, let's look at work, 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 work. So this is work for August 1st through the 8th. Um, it looks like you are doing some kind of work, but you're definitely not being paid well enough for what you are doing. It looks to me like there's some kind of job that you're um, wanting to wrap up and finish up. And I think that by the end of the week, you do have that wrapped up and finished up and accomplished. Um, It kind of feels to me like this is a redundant type of job that you were finishing up, like it's something that happens over and over and over again. So this may be that, you know, you're fulfilling a big order for a product or for a service for somebody, and you know that as soon as you get this fulfilled, then there's going to be another order behind it. But it seems like it's a big project because towards the end of the week, we do have this idea that you know, there's been some kind of struggle and that struggle is behind you. Uh, but things aren't really changing. I think, you know, you've got in the future, you've got more of the same. And, you know, I think the underlying issue here is that um, I think you're being taken advantage of at work. You're either not being paid well enough or else you have coworkers who are sloughing off all of their work onto you, that type of thing. Okay. La da da, la da da, what should we look at next, guys? How about we look at that part of your personality which is being grown or expanded right now? So it does look to me like you're starting to realize that some of the pieces of your life are not exactly what you were looking for or hoping for whenever you set out for to accomplish goals. And so because some of these pieces in your life aren't exactly what you were looking for, they're not working really well. And I don't see you being very dedicated to sticking with them. So this could be places, things like where you live. This could be what type of job you have or the specific job that you have. Um, this could be the person that you're dating. Um, but the fact that it's coming up as where you're being grown or expanded, this is probably um, a scenario that you find yourself in more than once during this time frame. So to me, there are multiple things that you're realizing that, you know what, this isn't exactly what I was shooting for or what I was hoping for. And what we see here is that you're going back to the drawing board and you're thinking about, okay, well, what strengths do I bring to a situation? What's good about me? What is it that people would appreciate about me? And then you're also evaluating where can I plug myself in that I'll be um, appreciated enough to make me feel satisfied or fulfilled. Okay, so if this is in work, where can I plug myself in that I'll have the pay and the benefits that I need to feel like I'm being compensated fairly? Um, if this is a personal relationship, this is, you know, where, who can I pair up with? Or if you're already paired up, how can we improve our connection so that I feel like I'm being appreciated enough to feel satisfied with this situation. So that's that's what's going on is you're basically, you're realizing you're not in that place where you're feeling satisfied with some of your situations and you are reevaluating, okay, what would it take for me to feel satisfied in these? Okay, next thing we're gonna look at are those things that you stand for as we go through this particular time frame. Excuse me while I wet my whistle.
it looks like there's been some kind of insecurities or some kind of jealousy that has been going on and you have decided that you know what in spite of those you're going to continue on in a situation you're going to continue moving forward you're not going to let your insecurities or your jealousies rule how you think about things and actually in making this decision to continue forward and you know just look those things in the face and continue forward in making that decision actually you've made this a lot easier for yourself you've taken the challenging parts out because you've accepted that okay yeah I'm insecure but I know that I want to continue forward with this well just by acknowledging that has taken a lot of that insecurity to where it's just not impacting you the way it was before okay um, how other people are perceiving you right now, they are seeing you as somebody who has a decent amount of self-confidence and self-esteem, which is always good to see. They're seeing you as somebody who is okay with treating yourself well and with doing things that make you happy. Um, they're also seeing you as somebody who is very honest about the idea of... Um, when something isn't working out that you're very straightforward about that and part of the reason you're straightforward about that is because you do have that self-esteem and that self-confidence that allows you to move forward without clinging on to something that's that's only hurting you so they see you as somebody who is perfectly able to separate from those things that are no longer good for you and um, because of that self-confidence and that self-esteem and they're seeing that you are in a healing process where as your self-confidence and your self-esteem grows, as you do more things that make you happy, you begin to heal up and become more of a whole, more of a secure person. All right. La da 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 da. La da da da. La da 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 da. Okay, so next thing that we're going to look at is the pivot point during this time frame. Is this a week, first through the eighth? Almost a week and a day. So we're looking at the pivot point through this time frame, and this is kind of the point where things flex, where things may change direction when this happens. Ba -da, ba -da 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 -da. There is somebody that... I feel like there's somebody that you were going to collaborate with. You had intentions, you had plans of collaborating with this other person, and they communicated that they did too. But then they dropped the ball, and so you kind of picked up all the responsibility around whatever this collaboration was supposed to be. Um, I think you're actually going back to this way of doing things. I think you're going back to the idea of, you know what, I really don't need to collaborate with somebody. This has just proved it to me that I can handle this all on my own, even if it is a little bit heavy, I can do it. And I think um, whatever this was you were going to collaborate with uh, um, somebody else and it sort of fell through, I think that this is something that you have done on your own before. And I think you're just deciding, you know what, I am going to go back to doing that on my own. It was lighter when I had help with it, but you know, if I can't count on that person that's helping me, then maybe it's better if I just, just handle it myself. Okay. So at the same time that that's going on, Yeah, I think that you are just really breaking the connection between you and this other person. I think you're officially letting them know, you know what, I don't need you to collaborate with me anymore. And I think that when you break this news to that person, I think they're going to be a little bit sarcastic and cutting in some of their comments. And they're going to be basically laughing in your face and telling you that you won't be able to do it by yourself. Well, guess what? You already know you can because you used to. No big deal. And I think that in cutting these ties and in hearing what this person says to you um, makes you just that much more sure that you made the right decision and that much more happy about actually cutting those ties. La, da, da, da. What else is going on? Hmm. So remember I said where you're growing and expanding is probably more than one scenario where you feel like you're being taken advantage of and you're looking for other things 
I think we're seeing that more than one scenario come up here with our at the same time pivot point. So while you're going back to doing something all on your own, there is somebody in your life. Oh, ha, hello. <laughs> I just got it. The light bulb just went on. Did y'all see it over my head? <laughs> the somebody in your life is you. You're being a little bit codependent in the way that you're handling this all on your own. You're having a hard time turning loose of those responsibilities. Um, and it, you know, you're missing out on a lot of really untapped potential by not allowing somebody to collaborate with you. So I'll give it to you. Maybe this other person wasn't so reliable, but maybe there's somebody else out there who would be more reliable that you could collaborate with because this is showing that as you're having a hard time giving up those responsibilities, that these are codependent tendencies that you have. This whole idea that goes back to usually when we're raised as children and there's either mental health issues or addiction issues in the house, we sort of learn that if we want things to go well, we have to be in charge. The grown-ups can't always handle things well. And this kind of goes back to those early mindsets that we come up with that are our coping mechanisms. And so a lot of times we carry those into adulthood. So even in situations where this is no longer a good valid coping mechanism anymore, we're still using it because we don't know how to let go of it. And that's what's coming up here. Like you're carrying all of the responsibility of whatever this collaboration is supposed to be. You're carrying it all by yourself because you feel like that's the only way it's going to be done right. All right. Now what the message that's coming in through the cards from Sacred Spirit is that just a little reminder of, you know, you're falling back into codependent tendencies or, or ways of being here when you have a hard time letting go of this, all this responsibility, but you're limited when you just have one noggin figuring things out. If you can go ahead and collaborate with somebody, there's lots of untapped potential that could come out there. So Spirit's kind of giving you the heads up that mm, maybe this idea of going back to doing it all by yourself is not necessarily the best, most profitable, or most beneficial method of handling this situation. Alrighty, you can do whatever you want to do with that information. Um, I want to check in to where you are towards the end of the week. Leo, Leo, Leo. Yeah. Okay, so Leo's towards the end of the week, you are showing up as still being self-sacrificing, putting others' priorities above your priorities. And at the same time, I do see you getting in a lot of alone time. I see you getting to think things over and sort things out in your mind. We already saw that earlier where you were seeing what you could bring to the table and what you were expecting in return for that. Um, but I do see you coming into even more of that kind of thoughtfulness um, at the end of the week. And at the same time, even though you are separate from people and taking time out and time down to really think things through, you're also in a leadership position. So you've got a couple of different hats on. And with this leadership position, you're somebody who does lead with integrity. People are happy to follow you because you give them respect. So we see a few things going on this weekend. Basically, you're putting other people's priorities in front of yourself. You are spending some time alone to try to sort things out. And you are also leading a group of people, or at least one person, but probably a group of people at some point over the end of the week. Okay? Huh, that's an interesting end of the week. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap this time frame up, and then I'm going to come back, and we will look at the next little section of August. I'll see you soon. Okay, Leos, we are back again. This time we're looking at our time frame from August 9th through the 15th, looking in depth to see what themes you're going to be working with and interacting with as you go through this time frame. So feel free to scroll through if you want to scroll through this time where I am shuffling and putting down cards. 
once again. Okay, let's see what you guys have showing up, Leos. First thing we're looking at for this time frame is going to be your environment. It does look like you are taking a break from your environment or taking a break maybe even in your environment. You could be having a vacation or a staycation. There's definitely this idea of a break coming up here. And while you're taking this break, you are very focused on... Um, making this environment something that is better, that is better for you. So if you're on vacation, you could be using this time to find some place that is going to pay you better, or is going to be, um, you know, um, a better place for you to work. You could be very focused on that. If this is a time where you're taking a break and you're staying home, you could be very focused on doing things to improve things in the home. Um, so yeah, so basically you're taking a break, but that break is definitely, it's a break from your usual, but I think you're very much focused on making sure that you come out of a situation where you feel like um, either you haven't been receiving what you're worth or where you feel like you've been having to pay money that you really don't want to have to pay. So you're definitely focused. You've got a mission. <laughs> You've got a mission, even though I don't see you um, doing your normal thing. You've got a break from the regular thing. You're still on a mission during that time. All right. La -da -da -da. On a mission when it comes to your environment. Next, we're looking at your subconscious leanings. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. This is big. You guys have a decision on your mind especially heavy in your subconscious about whether you want to stay in a situation that is comfortable and it's comfortable because you've been there you understand it you get how it works you know all the rules it's predictable for you or if you want to do something completely different that you've never done before. There's no rule book. You would have to feel your way through that whole thing. So you're trying to decide between stay in soft, comfortable place over here, which may not technically be comfortable, but it's familiar. It's what you're used to. Or go out and create something totally and completely new for yourself. So that is what is on your subconscious. I think that when you're looking at creating this something new for, your, for yourself, um, you are looking at, okay, well, if I do that, how am I going to overcome the obstacles? And you're trying to sort of get some pre-planning going about um, how you would overcome any foreseeable obstacles that might come up. And if you stay in your familiar place, you know, there are familiar people in this familiar situation or this familiar place, whichever one it may be for you. And I think you're also working on, you know, okay, do I bring these familiar people with me into this new situation? Am I leaving them behind if I choose this? You know, so I really think subconsciously you're leaning towards figuring out how to choose that new creative thing. But in your subconscious, you're also trying to figure out, okay, well, how can I tie up all the loose ends as I do that as well? La da 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 da. Next thing that we're looking at. Talks to me about your learning style. <laughs> Some of you are learning the hard way, putting in the blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, but you guys are also very curious. You're very agile minded and you are picking up a lot of new information that is not being learned the hard way. You're being able to process that on a logical level. Uh, and I think, you know, that this information is actually information that's making you very happy. Um, there are some blanks that are still left that you're still working on 
how you can fill in that information. So there's definitely progress being made on information here. Uh, I'm hoping that these blanks that aren't filled in yet are not things that you have to learn through blood, sweat, and tears of your own. Um, but it does look like you're getting some general ideas about things. And this all may be tied in with that subconscious leaning about the choice that you want to make as well. When we look at your communication style, I see a lot of one-on-one -on -one communication here and I see it being very emotional, definitely very emotional and also very enthusiastic and fiery. So there is there is definitely communication happening here and it is wrapped up in all kinds of enthusiasm and emotion during this time frame. Everything we talk about here, unless I say there's a delay, is going to be during this time frame, no matter what tense of verb I use. Uh, da, da, da. Next thing I'm looking at, excuse me, sorry, picking up cards and looking before I told you. Next thing I'm looking at is work for you guys. You're manifesting some really good things in work. You may be juggling, you may be going back and forth between locations for work, but you are manifesting some really good things and it looks to me like you are tapping into some potential that's kind of been there all along that you just haven't had a chance to tap into before, but now you've got that opportunity. As far as inner work, inner work right now has to do with you realizing your own power, your own power, your own power in the world, your own power in the universe, um, and your own power over your own life. Very cool. All right, next thing that we're looking at is going to be that part of your personality which is being grown or expanded right now during the 9th through the 15th. La -da 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 -da. You do have some decisions to make. You do have some decisions to make and I think you're feeling pretty inspired about them. You can't wait to make these decisions. Um, but you are really learning how to hold back and wait for the proper timing to move forward. And you're learning how to how to move forward in a balanced way so that you're not overturning your foundation by moving forward and you're actually making good forward progress. So that's where you're growing or expanding right now. That's a good thing. All right, next what we have coming up is those things that you stand for. It looks to me like you are... You have been toying with the idea of committing to something or of really throwing your all your energy into something and you've decided that that's not what you want to do and that actually that decision has made you feel really empowered and it makes you feel like you're able to follow your own intuition, your own guidance, your own north star as far as what you want to do with yourself and with your life and whenever you made this decision not forward with something that was going to be um, a commitment or a contract, you know, somebody is probably approaching you and saying, why, why, I don't understand that. And you've had to defend that. It just wasn't the right commitment or contract for you. How other people are seeing you. Ha, ha, ha. Um, so spirit has a good sense of humor, but they use music to speak Sometimes I don't know. Maybe the name of the song is the words that I'm remembering, but I don't know. It's an old song. This is from when I was a teenager or younger. Some guys have all the luck. That's what I'm thinking of as I look at this card. Somebody is seeing you as having all the luck, as having everything work out for you. Even when times are bad, everything works out for you. Like they can see that you're struggling. They can see that you know, uh, personal life and work life is not mixing very well for you and that you are in a little bit of a cycle of, of struggle here. But it seems like everything always comes together for you anyway. And so that's what they're seeing is that, oh, well, look, no matter what happens to Mr. or Ms. Leo, 
Things are always working out for them. Look at that. So that's how they're seeing you. La da 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 la da 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 da. All right. Rearrange my table a little bit. Get all my cards closer to me again. Okay. Next thing we're going to look at talks to me about that pivot point that you're going through during this time frame from the 9th to the 15th. There is some major change actually coming up. There is some major change. It looks like there's been some kind of reversal of a decision that you have made in the past. And now you've decided that you are going to move forward with whatever this thing was you had decided against in the past. You're going to take that leap of faith and see where that leads you. Whoop, whoop. Okay, Leo, what's coming up at the same time as that? Okay, so as you're taking this leap of faith and going back on a decision that you have made before, you've got some issues going on because you have somebody in your sphere of influence who seems to be really focused on making the decisions that you should be making for you. They seem to be really... You know, they, there's power plays that are happening here. This person is used to being in charge, and they want to be in charge when it comes to you, too. And I don't think you're finding that too satisfying, to say the least about the most. I think you're getting really frustrated with it. And what's interesting here is I think this other person is actually doing this on purpose. It's like they're just pressing those buttons just because they can press those buttons when it comes to you. Now, what else is going on? Yeah, well, we have basically a confirmation that you are going back to something that you had moved away from before. And there is a lot of frustration as you go back to it. I think there's a lot to work out because you moved away from it. Now there's extra stuff to be worked out as you go back to this and have this new beginning that you're starting as a leap of faith. But you're going back because this thing looks like the ideal situation or the ideal relationship for you, whichever the case may be for you, Leos. And so because it looks like the ideal, you're going back anyway. And yes, the struggle is real and you've got somebody trying to sap your authority, usurp your authority. But you've decided, you've made your decision. You're making a change here. You're starting this whole new thing. Alrighty. La da da da. Was that what came up in the subconscious? Working on that decision? Okay, let's look at what's going on for the last part of the week for you. So, the last part of the week, we do see you in a place that of challenge a little bit. Um, but not like I think we saw earlier in the week. So things are starting to smooth out. What we have is you now know what you bring to the table. You know what your good aspects are that people, other people find valuable. And so I think that you are getting out there and making those offers, whether those are resumes or whether that's, you know, you're trying to negotiate with your partner or whether you're, you know, trying to lure in another partner. Is lure in the right phrase? Maybe not. Anyway, meet another partner maybe. Um, as you're doing this though, I think that you are also enlisting the support and the help of people that are in your sphere of influence. Your support network are also helping you to get out the word that, okay, I have this service that's available or, you know, I'm single and looking or whatever, whatever this is. You have the support of people, friends and colleagues around you who are helping you to find whatever this is that you're looking for um, that's going to be more fulfilling for you. That's the challenge at the end of the week is to, to find that thing that is the most fulfilling that does honor what you're good at and does allow other people to appreciate you for that in a way that pays all the bills or in a way that makes you feel satisfied in a relationship, one or the other. Okay? For some of you, it's going to be one, and for some of you, it's going to be the other one. All right, so I'm going to shut this down, take a little break, and come back, and we'll look at the third quarter of August when I come back. 
Hello again, Leos. We are back. This time we are covering August 16th through the 22nd. We've hit the halfway mark of our in-depth productions for the month. I hope that you guys are finding lots of benefit from this, this new style of reading. Instead of doing once a week, doing the in-depth monthlies. The weeklies were never this in-depth. Okay, my dears, we have your cards down. The first thing that we're going to look at during this time frame is going to be, once again, your environment, any place where you have energy or effort invested. And so it looks like you are sharing your environment with somebody who likes to be in charge. They like to be the leader. They think outside the box. They're very friendly with other people, um, very outgoing, and generally very positive very positive in their outlook. Um, it looks like it looks like in sharing this environment with this person, you may be feeling like you're a little bit less empowered, like you're a little bit in their shadow because they are such natural leaders. And it looks to me like you're debating a little bit. <laughs> a part of you is happy to be sharing this environment and there's also a part of you that's like, um, Wait a second, <laughs> not so sure about this. So not quite sure about it yet, but definitely sharing your environment with somebody who has a very positive outlook and who likes to be in charge, likes to be the leader. A little fly buzzing around here, aggravating me. Summertime, what you gonna do? Um, let's see, next we're looking at subconscious leanings. You're definitely looking at some changes that you want to make. You've gotten into a situation where you're feeling a lot more secure about things, but you're also feeling really confused. So that new security has almost taken you out of your comfort zone where when you were feeling insecure, you knew how to handle that. You knew how to act with that. But now that you're feeling more secure, this is almost foreign territory to you. So secure, you're just not quite sure how you're supposed to act with that. And so your subconscious is working on that. What used to feel normal doesn't feel like the right thing anymore. It's a good thing when we gain security, things shouldn't feel the same. That's a good thing. Okay, Leo's next. What we're looking at is your communication style and your learning style. We are going to start with learning style. You are picking up a lot from implications and also from communicating with sacred spirit right now. Could be focusing on prayer or meditation at the moment. I'm actually seeing quite a bit of your information is coming through there in a very solid way. You've got lots of curiosity. You're asking about a lot of things. You're looking for a lot of different types of information. As far as your communication style, you are definitely wanting to focus on the happy, the bright, the cheerful, um, that type of stuff. And you're being very clear in your communication as well. I don't think people have to wonder what it is that you're talking about. And you're communicating in an abundant way. So nobody should feel like they're getting left out or they aren't being told the things they need to know for sure. Next thing that we're looking at has to do with the work, 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 work. So when we look at outer work first, you're not feeling really good about whatever it is that you're doing for work. Maybe you're unemployed and you're feeling kind of yucky about that. Or maybe you have a job that you just, it kind of, I want to say it kind of goes against your morals or who you consider that you stand for with this work. And I think that you are, you're putting down some responsibilities. You may be walking away from a job because it's causing some kind of moral dilemma for you. Work just feels very unbalanced and precarious as we look at this time frame, the 16th through the 22nd. I think you're actually, part of the reason it seems so unbalanced is because you are working with somebody who is a little bit unbalanced. You know, their elevator doesn't necessarily go to the top floor, if you know what I mean. La da da da, inner work. Inner work. 
it looks to me like you've been having a hard time with your emotions lately and you've been wanting to blame your emotions on different things outside yourself and now your inner work is to start to be more accountable for your emotions and how you feel and starting to learn how to you know take control of your emotions and not let them control you that's your inner work right now La -da -da -da. that part of your personality which is being grown or expanded is what we're hitting next There is some communication coming up here about something that you have uh, been teaching to other people and you're letting go of that. So this could be, there's a couple of ways that this is coming to me that it could be manifesting for you guys. So for some of you, you've been teaching a concept or you've been teaching a theory. You've been passing along an idea to somebody and now you're realizing that you don't so much buy into that idea anymore and so you're not... I feel like you're coming to the point where you're letting go of teaching that or of passing that along so freely. Um, for others of you, this is something that you have been taught. It's something that you have learned and you are, you're unlearning it basically. Like you're communicating with somebody else who is helping you to see how what you've learned in the past is not um, beneficial to you in today or in the present. Um, this could be, you know, even working with a therapist or even working with a good friend about, um, you know, thought patterns that are holding you back. That would be an easy way to see how that would manifest. I'm sure there's other ways besides that. La da 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 da. All right. So the next thing that we're looking at talks to me about those things that you stand for. Leo, 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 Leo. So Leos, I think that you guys have had some kind of communication going on between yourself and somebody who has already crossed over. Now, I'm not sure from looking at this if this has been you actually making that communication or if you have been uh, to see a medium or contacted a medium so that they could help you communicate with somebody who has crossed over. But I think that you know somebody has, has said something to you and you've had to defend the idea that, you know what, I have the choice of whether I want to do this or not and it's my choice and it's not your choice so step off the curb Jack this is not your territory La -da -da -da. how other people are perceiving you so here's an interesting thing Leo's we like this I think I like this So, I don't really know where I want to start. This is kind of a ring around the rosy type thing where it's all connected. But basically, other people are perceiving you as somebody who used to always put other people's priorities in front of your priorities and take care of other people before you took care of yourself. They're seeing you as making a change in that. And now you're standing up for your own priorities and actually placing them ahead of other people's priorities in some cases. And they're also seeing that you're being more verbal, you're being more vocal about things. Like if something is bothering you, where before you might have just pasted on a smile and just kind of kept the peace and not said anything, now if something is bothering you, you're more willing to speak up and to let somebody know, you know, this is, this is kind of eating me up from the inside out. We need to do something to change this so that it's, it's more correct. It's more right. It makes more sense, whatever the case may be. So they see you as making these really positive changes as far as self-care goes. Um, but they also see you as being frustrated and I think they're seeing you as being frustrated because when we do make those changes from putting everybody else's priorities in front of our own to starting to prioritize some of our things what happens is everybody over here is like what what, what? since when is your stuff more important than my stuff <laughs> and they start tripping a little bit. It throws their balance off because they're used to relying on you. You've always been there for them before. And they've kind of taken that for granted that you always will. 
And so I think this is your frustration here is that as you are uh, coming into a place where you are prioritizing yourself and just, just taking care of yourself in some very basic ways before you agree to do something that helps somebody else in, in sidelines, you taking care of you, as you're doing this, uh, the people that you used to put in front of you are having a little bit of backlash about that because, you know, you've kind of created a monster. You've spoiled them. And now, you know, they have, the monster has to be domesticated. <laughs> They're having a hard time with it. So that's what we have going on here. This is what somebody is seeing as they're looking in at what's happening with you. Kind of interesting. I hope they're right about what they're seeing. It's always forward progress when we go from prioritizing other people to realizing that, hey, I'm important too. <laughs> All right, next thing we're going to look at is going to be the pivot point in this time frame, La -da -da, where things sort of change directions a little bit. Mm. <laughs> so you are coming into a contract or agreement with somebody and I think that you've got your thinking cap on. You're really looking at this logically. This is this is good business to come into this contract or agreement with this other person. This other person that you're coming into contract or agreement with, they're kind of grumpy. I think you're choosing to come into this contract or agreement because it makes sense in spite of them being kind of grumpy. I don't know that grumpy really covers everything there, but We'll stick with that for now. All right, what else is going on at the same time? At the same time that you're coming into this commitment with Mr. or Ms. Grumpy, you're also realizing you're, you're digging into some of what I call the secrets of the universe, which has to do with anything that influences our world um, that we're not taught about in fourth grade. Okay, so paranormal stuff, metaphysical stuff, law of attraction, the occult, the arcane, tarot, uh, mediumship, runes, uh, things like Reiki, shamanism, other versions of energetic healing. There is something along those lines, what I call the secrets of the universe. There's some kind of secret of the universe that you're really investigating and as you're investigating it, you're finding out that it actually is just exactly what the doctor ordered or what you're looking for, what, what's called for right now. And you are really enjoying this. Whoop, whoop. I like that. Chris, I would, right? Being who I am. What else is going on at the same time? This commitment that you've made... Huh. Now I'm kind of wondering as I'm looking at those cards, maybe where I was looking at you making this commitment or contract, maybe it wasn't with a grumpy person. Maybe that person is grumpy because you made this commitment or contract because I'm feeling like this commitment or contract has to do with the pursuit of knowledge about something that is a secret of the universe. And I think that you're pursuing this with friends. You have friends around you that you're exploring these secrets of the universe with. And I think that you are, you're suspending, what is that? When you watch a movie and you don't hold it to standards that you would expect from a story in normal life, suspending reality, I'm not sure. You're kind of suspending that scientific way of looking at things and you're opening your mind up to new ways of thinking or new perspectives. Yeah, interesting. I think all of this is really unsettling for Mr. Grumpy over here. So when you did a commitment or a contract, you might have decided that you were going to take a class on all this stuff. Or at least one aspect of it. And Mr. Grumpy's like, why are you getting into all that woo-woo nonsense? Or Ms. Grumpy. <laughs> They'll say that now, but then when they need your help, it won't be woo-woo nonsense, will it? <laughs> Alright, so where do we see you at the end of the week, Leos? 
at the end of the week, it looks like the way that you think about things, your foundations, your idea about security has kind of been turned upside down. And I think that you're not feeling very satisfied about things when this happens. And I think also what's going on is you're taking some time to be by yourself and really think things over and get things straight in your mind. And then after that, you are coming out to communicate with other people. I think this other person is probably going to be Mr. or Ms. Grumpy just because I think as you are progressing in learning your secrets of the universe, they're making life harder and harder. That's why you're feeling less satisfied and you're feeling like your sense of security is sort of turned on its head because they're really doing a lot of backlash. Now, why are they doing a lot of backlash? Well, because they think you're getting too woo-woo for them. But really, why are they doing all this backlash? Because you're actually taking the time to study something and to learn something that interests you. And you're not, you know, you're not doing all the things that you used to do for them before. You're still doing plenty, don't get me wrong. But you're not doing all the things you used to do for them before. And so they're kind of having a little bit of a fit little bit of a temper tantrum because, you know, you're not doing everything you used to do for them before and, you know, they're actually having to be responsible for some of their own stuff because you're putting um, something that you're interested in as a priority over taking care of that person. Interesting stuff. The dynamics of people. Isn't that interesting? All right, so anyway, Leos, that is that time frame. Was that actually a week? Yep, that was that week. So I'm going to take another break, come back, and then we're going to hit the 23rd. Hello again, Leo. We are back for the final quarter of the month of August. This is going to be covering August 23rd through the 31st. Of course, as I get started, the air conditioner wants to kick off and be loud. So anyway, 23rd through the 31st, that's a week plus two days. So we're looking at a nine-day time frame for this period. Let's put down cards and see what comes up for you. Okay, Leo's. You had a card that literally just slid right off the deck. <laughs> We're going to call that overarching energy for this time frame. So it's something that's going to be having a little theme, a thread of theme, ran through the whole time frame. And what you have coming up is actually a person, somebody who is a more youthful person or somebody who has a more youthful outlook or attitude. Um, and this person is somebody who is very social. They enjoy being around other people. They also um, are very optimistic. Maybe even a little bit of a dreamer is what I'm hearing. Uh, they have some ideas that they get very enthusiastic about that maybe because of their youth they're not so grounded in the reality of things. And so this is this is somebody who's kind of in the mix for everything that we're going to talk about to some degree for you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so let's let's move on to your environment, Leo's. So environment for this particular time frame you could be going into a new commitment for your environment. You could be um, doing a mortgage, starting a lease. Um, you could be committing to having a roommate or a, a housemate. You could be moving in with somebody or they could be moving in with you. Uh, but there's some kind of commitment or contract having to do with your environment. Maybe um, if your environment is work and not home this time around, maybe this has to do with that you have a new employer for some of you. Um, I think that you're feeling really good about this. This is 
whatever is happening with this new commitment is adding to your self-esteem and your self-worth and I think that you're really you're really happy with what's going on here so these are really good cards I'm, that's great cards for the environment woo woo let's look at your subconscious leanings next Leo's so during this time frame you are having a hard time letting go of something Ah, it looks like it's kind of a lifestyle-ish type issue. Like, so you're learning something new and you're having a hard time letting go of the lifestyle pre-learning. <laughs> so this could be that you're spending a lot of time with learning what's new, which is cutting into time that you had to do other things before. And you're having a hard time, you know, making that adjustment or letting go with that. Um, but this could also be that you're learning new things and those new things that you're learning are actually changing how you view things, changing your perspective, changing what you're doing during the day. And once again, kind of miss the old way, kind of miss the old way. And so your subconscious is really working on that. It's probably working on finding balance so you can still have some of what you used to have along with this new learning or new information or new perspective. Okay, so the next thing that we're looking at coming up here is going to be learning style and communication style. So it looks like you are picking up a lot of information. Your curiosity is driving that information and you're just picking up a lot, 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 lot of it and you're getting it nice and solid. You're not getting anything that in that's confusing or misleading. This is very solid information that you can count on that you're researching or that you're picking up, that you're finding out. Um, and I think a lot of this information is, is very pointed. It's very specific and it allows you to be very specific as you move forward with things. So next we're going to look at your communication style during this time frame. Very solid, very grounded, very rooted communication, which just means that you're very much in touch with uh, the tangible world around you and very much talking about making plans around that. Um, there is somebody that you're waiting for communication from. This could be like if you have a resume out or this could be if you're waiting to hear an answer from somebody. Maybe you're waiting for some RSVPs or if there's somebody that you know you're just wanting to communicate with you may be waiting to hear back from them but there is this element of waiting for communication at least in one aspect. Um, yep and it looks like once again it looks like communication is very solid whatever you're saying is, is very grounded um, and I think that some of you may be mm, as you're waiting for communication I think some of you are like leaving little nuggets or little tidbits little lures to try to get this person to talk to you or to communicate with you whether it's about a resume or a, whether it's a personal thing I think that even while you're still waiting for messages back from that other person or that other energy entity um, you are still communicating and putting out little little nuggets that you think that that person or that that entity would appreciate and when I say entity I mean like company employer things like that La da 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 organization. Okay, so next thing we're looking at talks to me about work. How is work? Looks like you're confused about what you want to do with work. Really confused about what you want to do when it comes to work. There's really not a struggle right now. It almost looks like it's break time. Like it's you're taking a break from work right now even. Um and that's only implied because there's this card that talks about a long-standing struggle that has now come to an end. So I guess if you've been struggling to get resumes out there and get a job, maybe that's come to an end. That would be a struggle. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel like that. It feels like there's been some kind of struggle at work that's finally come to an end. But it's interesting because as it has come to an end, it's bringing with it confusion. Um, 
you're having a hard time making a decision moving forward. Maybe it's about what you want to do next. Um, I think it is definitely about what you want to do next, whether you want to stay in the same line that you have been or whether you want to move over and try something else. There's just a lot of, I mean, there's, there's two cards out of three that talk about confusion there. Okay. So there's an end of struggle, but there's lots of confusion coming up with the end of your struggle. La da da da. Next thing that we have, <clears throat> you know, actually even that could be some of you getting back to work and just the confusion might be around how does this look to be back at work in these times. La da da da. That part of you that's being grown or expanded right now, Leo's. It's interesting there is kind of this essence of getting back to people that you haven't been around for a while that used to be a part of your everyday life and being uh, in a sheltered position when you do this I mean to me this seriously could be going back to work maybe you're going back into a situation where you worked at a restaurant but the sheltering is that you know the tables aren't as close together you everybody's wearing masks you know could be something like that. I do feel like whatever this is, it's not something new where you're returning to these other people in a sheltered fashion. This isn't something new that you're doing. This is something that you've done before <clears throat> and just got interrupted is what I'm hearing, Leos. Interrupted. Okay. La -da -da -da. Next we're looking at something that you stand for. Leo's, you are strongly intuitive. This isn't the first time that this card has bounced out for me. So I'm seeing you as being strongly intuitive, especially during this, this month, but especially this time frame, even. And it looks to me like oh, you have things happening where your level of intuition, your skill level is bouncing up. <laughs> And I don't mean it's growing incrementally. I mean, it's bouncing up. It's growing by leaps and bounds. Um, something is going on. And I feel like <clears throat> this isn't necessarily something that you've chosen. Like you haven't been praying that your intuition would get stronger and more solid and you could trust it more. But this is something that is happening anyway. I think you feel like you're kind of forced into this situation. And... There, there really isn't any changing it. I mean, you you have this intuition. There's just no two ways about it. And so I think that there's somebody around you who may be confronting you about this and saying, well, wouldn't it be easier if you weren't pick up all these things, if you weren't so sensitive? Wouldn't that make life easier? And I think you're having to defend yourself. You're having to say, mm, maybe, but, you know, that's not how I was made. All right, next let's look at how other people are viewing you. La -da 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 -da. La -da -da -da. Hmm. Looks to me like they're seeing you as somebody who is starting something new and really working behind the scenes to get that thing off the ground. And maybe even as somebody who is stressing out about if you'll have all the resources or if you'll have all the talents or the capabilities to pull that off, to pull off starting that new thing. So they're seeing you as starting something new, doing a lot of work to make it work, and being, being stressed out about the financial or the material part of it, being stressed out about the resources behind that. That's an outsider's perspective of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. La -ha, da -da -da -da. Okay, so this is the point during our time frame where things start to go in a little bit of a different direction. Well, this is interesting. We find you being very happy collaborating with somebody and it's not work. <laughs> so collaboration for recreational purposes is what's happening here and it's making you very happy. Happy, happy, happy. 
Happy, happy, happy. Alrighty. At the same time, you're definitely finding your peace. You're finding your zen. You have figured out what you bring to the table for sure. And you're just looking for who's going to accept what you have that's strong and pay you for that or appreciate you for that, depending on your situation. There are some fears that you have faced to get to this zen point. And part of being at the zen point is knowing strong points. You know, part of being at a zen point is knowing your strong points and your weak points. And it's interesting to me, some people are hesitant to explore their strong points. Other people are hesitant to explore their weak points. I think you've gotten to a point where you have found your strong points and you were afraid to look at those before. That was your big fear. Now you're finding your zen because you realize, you know what, I'm, I am pretty good at a couple of things here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so next, Leo's. What else is happening at the same time that you're collaborating with somebody happily and it's not on work? La da da da, la da da da. Wow, you're putting the leadership role behind. You're just putting that down. You don't want to be a leader right now. You don't want to be in charge. I've almost got this thing of, <clears throat> I'm kind of tired of adulting. That's kind of what I'm hearing from you when I look at these cards. Like, I'm really tired of adulting. I'm just going to take a break from adulting for a little bit. You know, you're collaborating with somebody. You're not working. You're happy. You face some fears about, you know, who you really are, the good things about you, and you've found your peace. And you just don't feel like adulting right now. <laughs> this is more about rest and rejuvenation. Rest, rejuvenation, healing. You may even be going to some type of retreat where you can do some kind of healing. This is cool stuff here. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. And where do we see you at the end of the week? We do see you picking up some kind of new responsibility. Oh... This could be somebody new coming into the family. You could be a godmother or a godfather or a new aunt or a new uncle or a new mama or a new papa. That could be what's going on here, but you're picking up some kind of new responsibility. This can also be starting a job. This could also be, um, you know, coming into a committed relationship at some level, you know, taking a relationship from the level it was to the next level. Um, and I feel like whatever this is that you're doing, this is something where responsibilities and benefits are very well balanced. Very well balanced. And I feel like there's a celebration around it. That's why I, I want to say, like, there's a new new person in the family, or the godmother, or the godfather, or the aunt, or the uncle, or whatever. Maybe you're the parent, or the grandparent. There's a celebration, definitely. Now, this could also be like an engagement party if you're getting engaged. That would be putting a new person into the family, too. And everything is coming up as very well balanced, which means that this is something that is is healthy. Whatever this new responsibility is, it's healthy. Um, this could also be getting a new job. You would celebrate getting a new job as well. Whatever this is, whatever this responsibility is that you're picking up, I feel like you're very happy to pick it up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, I do. Okay, so <laughs> we made it through the month, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending some of your precious time with me today. I appreciate that. Feel free to check back in on this at the appropriate dates to see what's coming up next for you. Um, thank you for putting thumbs ups on this video and for sharing this video with other people who may find it beneficial. And of course, thank you to all of you who are getting private readings from me. Um, it is because of all of you guys' support that I'm able to do what I love to do for my living. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody have a fantastic month. And if I don't see you here for a private reading, then I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out. To the 31st next time. See you soon.